Oh, yes. Godzilla is in the house. Gold Digger yeah. is in the house. Because I got my shooting partner, Norm, here. Finally. Finally. It's been a little bit since we were able to get together. A couple weeks. Yeah. Well, you mow lawns and I'm a farmer and it's that time of year. We're set up. We're going to be shooting pellets. Um, these 40 grain pellets at some targets that... Uh, What's that? Oh, 44 grainers. Yeah, sorry. Grain it's, pellets, man. it's a little, uh, oh, it's a little hot that, out here. I have my uh, pellet gauge coming. Should be oh, today. sweet. All right, cool. Yep. I can't wait to hear what you think about that because yeah, yeah. If, we're not, uh, if we're not shooting bullseyes here all day long, then I'll have you sort all my pellets so that I can. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to want to shoot the ones I sort because remember, you're competing against me. Now. Right, yeah. <laughs> All dinged up skirts from your fingernails. Oh. like Just enough, like, maybe you won't notice. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, quick quick rundown of the setup. Souped up MK2s. These things are pellet monsters. Um, we're both running Nexuses on top. Great optic for this, and you're going to be able to see that through a scope cam. I've got the Orion cam on top. Give us a nice, clear picture. Saber tactical out. Um, I still have a bag rider on here, but now, man, I don't know. Now that I have that, I'm like, yeah, I'm not even sure if I need it. Um, it's got this monstrosity of the most stable thing you'll ever shoot off bipod wise, which is pretty cool. Um, and just, I mean, check out that freaking paint job. It's actually laser engraved right into it. And then we'll have to get the gun a little more level than it is right now. That level is a lifesaver for this kind of stuff. So anyway, I'm going to get set. We're going to run some scope cam, run some B-roll. You want to B-roll me a little bit, Absolutely, bud? Absolutely, And then uh, we'll start slinging lead. You guys can see candidly how we do on our very first try. You can see the cattails moving a little bit. We got, I don't know, five mile an hour yeah. breeze, something like five that. It's no big deal. Um, but it comes on and then it goes dead still. So we're just we're just pouring sweat i don't know what the humidity is 110 <laughs> percent. i don't know but i'm glad we put this easy up up to get a little bit of shade or yeah roasting roasting yeah i've been sweating it out but anyway without further ado you ready for this bud let me have a sip of monster <laughs> dude i don't know if we're gonna break i mean like i see people posting 230s and stuff right i don't even know if i'm gonna break 200 I've never shot this type of target Me either, before. Buddy. These targets don't have feathers. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. I mean, like I said, I mean, it is what it is. So we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna edit the crap out of this. So uh, oh, no, to can't. hide something bad, uh, if if we screw up the targets, then you'll it's get what to it is, man. yeah, you'll get to <laughs> you get to make fun of us. It is what it is. Here we go. All right. All right. What happens? I'll fling one down at the cider. I feel it coming from the left. I'm going to uh, hold on the eight ring and see if it drops in. No, that was incorrect. <laughs> this is going to be harder than I thought. Really? Yeah. I think I just... I didn't know. Yeah, so now the wind's coming from the right. But... Okay. Okay. I like that one. And we have 30 minutes to shoot these. Yeah. A little bit high. Oh, I'm landed right on the cross here. You do realize this is not the speed challenge. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I'm getting a read for the wind. Yeah. Bad shot. That was a bullseye. Oh, I'm 
now. Okay. So I got one more left on that row. Got a lot of eights. A lot of eights. Um, I don't... Oh, I might have one seven so far. But other than that, it's actually shaping up pretty good. And I know it's not the speed challenge, but it's like, <laughs> you get that wind going. Yeah, yeah. Why come back down to the side yeah, exactly. if you like your last shot? Just go. Absolutely. Or at least that's my theory. But I'm sure a bunch of people that are a lot better than this will be like, no, bro, you're doing it wrong. But Well, plus it's not gusty here. You no, know, it's if not. it's going to be gusting like that, then you're going to have to take your time. It's changing from left to yeah. right, though. Like, it'll, it'll push this way a little, and then it'll push that way a little. Um, but the gun's doing real good. I'm, I'm happy so far. Here, I'll, uh, I'll run right at it. Okay. I had to take one more cider just because I'd have, you know, had a break. Yep. Maybe a few more, depending on how the first one goes. Right, here we go. All right, that was low, right? Oh, yeah, I feel it. Yeah, I feel the wind picking up now. Big time. Yep. Okay, here we go. On target. All right, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, guy, Keith just <laughs> not only just shot a 250, <laughs> but it's just like the speed challenge uh, to him. That's no 250 up there. Let me tell you something. There are a lot of misses, but let's roll up there, see how it actually came out. I think I only have one outside the eight, but. Well, I'm going to keep this thing rolling, so okay. we don't stop down. it at all. You want to ride the quad or you want to walk? I will walk. I need the exercise. That air is going to be awful thin out there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to pass out and walk to the oh, targets man. out there. Well, Look at the pond uh, no here. My, my flashlight's on. Oh. And this thing gets hot when it's Oh, on you high. bet, man. I'm like, man, my light's burning up. <laughs> one of our subscribers got Keith and I one of those flashlights. Keith uses that thing daily. Every single day. And, I mean, it is chipped up a little bit. But this thing still, I'm only charging this once a week. That's crazy, I man. I use it every single day. I use it to check my mushrooms, check the stills. I, every time I do a uh, a reading on a thermometer or a hydrometer for the whiskey, Yep. checking it with this. I mean, it's just... Things it's awesome. It's like a spotlight. Oh, I know. It's some bright at night. Right. I love that thing. Well, let's right. see. Uh, Getting closer to the moment of truth here. Yeah, man. I feel like Rossi. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to shoot the dang thing that fast, but I was like, if they're staying in the air. Hey, thing, yeah, man. You let them rip. I mean, for the first time, let's try it out. Yeah, so I've got... Oh, no, I still caught the eight. I thought that was a, uh, was a seven, but... Nine. That breaks nine. That's an eight. That breaks ten. Nine. Eight. Breaks nine, eight, breaks nine. I don't know. I think that does break. Yeah, 10. that breaks ten. That breaks ten. That that's an X. Eight. I think that's X. Yeah. Oh yeah, 10. that's an X. Nine, 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 nine. I sound like a really mad German. <laughs> nine, nine, nine. <laughs> eight, 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 X, nine. It's a 35 cal plug or a 30 plug? 35. So that's probably 10. Yep. And that's 8. I'm okay with that, man. Oh, yeah, for the first round? Yeah. I mean, I'm not that good at math, so I'm not going to do it right here on camera. Yeah. But we'll let you know what it was in a second. <laughs> Did I shoot the... um? The tack out of it? <laughs> I, no, it was a clip, bro. Oh, really? Yeah. Whoops. I guess we'll find that never. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> Do you want me to go get your phone book, bud? <laughs> you need a, a pillow or something? <laughs> what the hell? I'll find some. See, shooting mats aren't just for prone shooting. They're also for leprechaun shooting. <laughs> <laughs> 
That gold digger looks nice, man. Oh, that's awesome. I'm just upset that I don't really shoot it much because I wanted to leave it like Justin built it. Well, now you got a reason to shoot it a whole lot. Oh, yeah, man. We're well, going to be burning I mean, ammo and targets nonstop from here till I the know. end of August. Now I got to sight it in. Wow, one really took off. Uh-oh. Come on, man. There's 20 plus K on the line here. <laughs> you didn't look too happy with that. No. <laughs> All right, did you finish the round? Oh, I finished it. Oh. <laughs> I know it's pouring sweat. It's nasty out, but Woo. um, I wonder what they give for the lowest score. <laughs> <laughs> Harder than it looks, right? Well, do they have age? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they might. They should put a seniors bracket in. Yeah. What I'm wondering is like, if we've got you know a more solid bench. I mean, I did my best here, people, but it's not absolutely perfect. Um, I was shaking a lot throughout the whole thing. Were you shaking or no? No, I didn't feel like I was shaking. I felt uh, like, and I think you'll see it in my scope cam, like they were buzzing like a bee, the crosshairs over what I wanted, but they well, were... you were shooting fast. Yeah, I was. You were shooting really fast, and maybe that's really the way to do it. I was trying to stay slow, um, but uh, when you said try to keep them all in the white did you mean on the inside of that blue ring <laughs> <laughs> yeah get a false sense of security shooting in you know calm conditions um but we can't control the weather so i wish it was a little windier today but uh, i think we need steve down there with a bellow yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go see how you made out man all might, right. might not be as bad as you think oh no it's pretty bad <laughs> <laughs> right. well <laughs> we'll uh we'll we'll meet you guys up down there uh, what's the status of your rifle, bud? Oh, on safety, empty. Okay, cool. Here we go. All right. Well, that... That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, the way you were talking, man. Oh, it's it's pretty bad. Well, you got a six. And... A seven. A six. Other than that, ain't bad, dude. You got three shots that got away on you. Yep. <clears throat> so. But I don't have, well, I got one. Is that an X? Yeah, well, that, yep. That's an X with a 30, so 35 cal plug for sure. That's one X. Uh, so I only got one X. Oh, yeah. The rest are staying around the eight, nine. But for the first one, yeah, first try, bro. I mean, I should. I still got to add it up, though. Yeah, we'll add it up right now, mark it on the target, and then uh, we'll do a quick overview of uh, what these targets are, fire another round, yeah, man. see if we improve. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, so first round, Norm's shot a 207 with 1X. That's not bad for a shot going through here. I got three Xs and a 224. Um... I'm not sure that's indicative of what I'm going to continue to do. So we'll <laughs> hopefully just... it'll be higher, brother. Yeah, hopefully, but I don't know, man. Like I said, I didn't feel all that stable, but it was because I was, I wasn't really letting the gun settle no. after I cocked it. Man, you were just shooting and, fast. Yeah, but I felt like that was the right thing to do, and it paid this time. Yeah. We'll see next time. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna get reset. We're not gonna bore you guys with a you know whole round of us shooting again. Um, we'll show a few shots and then see where we landed on the second round. But, uh, yeah, it was definitely eye opening. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking, well, we got ciders to take, right? Well, the ciders are all the way down there and that's okay for that one. But you, you know, you go to shoot a cider down there and then jump up to there. Yeah, you're moving up two feet at least. Yeah. Like three feet and I really want to shoot off that monopod cause that steadies me like crazy. 
but it's a big adjustment. It is a roll. And even like shooting off a bag, which would be fast adjustment, you're not going to get it to settle perfect right away. No. So um, a squeeze bag, you might be yeah. able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but now you're introducing all kinds of muscle tension and everything else. So, yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting. We'll go get some new paper. Whew. Figure it out, homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. down oh i just felt the wind change big time wind change oh my gosh i just lost the competition did you just pull a norm <laughs> no i i pulled way worse than norm really that's in the very outside ring bro i'm sitting there banging along yep and now i feel it coming from the left mm -hmm. just kicked it way way out that was a round blower. That first, uh, that first miss, man. That's in the four ring. Really? Yeah. I mean, it might have broken five, but it was. Dude, not, your not shooting's teams. becoming horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Brandon, rather than send us like one case of pellets, <laughs> can you send us like four? <laughs> We're gonna need them, brother. Dude, yeah, that. <clears throat> All right. Lesson learned, though. I went, I went on target for a long time there. I mm -hmm. think from now on, the next bunch of targets we shoot, I'm just gonna I'm gonna roll a maximum of three for score. Yeah. And then, you know, because I don't think the wind stays consistent that long through anything. Right. You know, so. So maybe Ernest is right. Yeah, I think. Well, Dude. he's definitely right. I mean, he does this stuff. Yeah. Over and over. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to that. And I'm getting quicker at you know adjusting down and up to yep. get from the ciders up. Yep. So I'm not concerned about that. I mean, just one round of practice, I was like, oh, no, no big deal. Right. But uh, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a max of three, especially with switchy winds. If we had a steady crosswind that I could feel, it'd be one thing. But it just feels weird here because you got cattails here, open pond to cattails coming up over a hill. So there's not a whole lot of like indication on the side of your face. You know what I mean? Plus, you're only like five whiskeys in. Yeah. So I think once you get to your seventh, eighth yeah, one, I'm, I'm, you'll I'm settle down. Best around seven. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Don't mix alcohol and shooting. No. I don't want any hate comments. I think I need another monster here to calm my nerves. <laughs> yeah. And it's probably a good indication, too. Like, if you finish the whole course in a mag and a third, you probably didn't take enough ciders. Um, but I'll be interested to see what that does, man, because that's... <laughs> You hit the four ring, boom, that's six points gone. Well, I was watching Jonathan when he was shooting in Pyramid, and he went through like 10 mags. Yeah. <laughs> he was also... Yeah, he, he, he was, was too, man. He was so relaxed. Yeah. And... All right, let's go up there and check it out. All right. For ciders and stuff. Yeah. So 150. See what I'm talking about? That's a solid four. Oh, yeah. And then this one got out on me. Yep. Then the very next one hit the 10. But I'm not gonna say. I mean, that could something could have just changed, man. You know. Mm -hmm. um, but that one really surprised me. I was, I think I was coming this way. Yeah. Bang, bang, and then all of a sudden it was like, what? Yeah, that one really took off. And that's you know, wind or me or pellet. So, yeah, I think, I think we're gonna have to sort just so we know for our own. Yeah. So we can sleep at night. Yep. But I'm, uh, I'm doing them by weight and by head yeah. size. So there's my ciders. I fired all of two, three, four, five, six, seven ciders. Um, clearly, I could have used one or two more. Yeah. But we'll add that up, uh, get the score up. All right, so the final result, 212 with one X. love the way that sounds when it hits the plywood. Whoa, that took off. Okay. So what were your thoughts on that round, bud? I think uh, I did better. Yeah? I think it's because I held the gun like I normally do. I squeezed it pretty yeah. tight in my shoulder. I wanted to just, I figured that bench rest, I would just let everything lay on the bench and just squeeze the trigger. Yeah. And I also try to stay focused on um, keeping the whole 
target and my scope like I'm not, not getting any black outs yeah. on the edges because yeah. i'm not holding my cheek in the same exact spot every time yeah but what i'm doing is that as long i'm feeling like well as long as that crosshair is still there yeah it's but it okay. doesn't work like that no now you gotta so, have that i think you should think about one of those uh saber tactical cheek rests yeah i give donnie a call bring it bring it up just a little bit because i think that you're not able to like chipmunk cheek it really hard every time right because it's like the scope you'd rather be up just a little bit exactly yeah, yeah so you need you need a little something there i don't know if i chipmunk cheek. i'll gotta watch this video back <clears throat> um later on tonight and see if if i could use you know a half inch up too or if i'm good i never get the black circles on the edge just because I don't know. I just don't. Mm -hmm. But I might be able to uh, to get a better cheek weld if I don't already have it. I'm not sure. I think I got it. It feels good, but I think I got at least two or three ten rings though. Nice. This time, but well, I just don't know why, man. This this round, like three or four of them, dove low, really low, and I don't feel like it was me. The one shot. I took my eye off the scope because I thought I had safety. <laughs> and it flew high. That was all me, but man. At least three of them that flew low, boy, they felt really good. And so. did you have black circles on the edge there, or no? I don't think so. Okay. I don't. I don't think so. I might have. So that it could be bad pellets, or you know, know, like I said, you need that little bit of extra up. Yeah, I think you want to give Donnie a call and get that. Can't hurt. No, can't hurt. Tune your gun just the way you want it. Okay. You know, like yeah. in terms of how it fits you. So that's great. Yep. It lost one there, but. You know, you get it back there. Now you're back to average an eight. This eight, is the one I flew high. I took eight. my eye out of the scope. <laughs> that it could have gone a lot worse, dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, so we got to do a little bit of math. Couple sevens, but nothing. Uh, you're not. You don't have any fours or anything up there. No, so. I'm, so I'm hoping that this score is going to be higher than the last. Yeah. Looks like you forgot to do something now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, one pellet? I'm following You took Keith. one shot? I'm following my mentor, Keith Gibson's <laughs> thing. I'm not shooting as fast as he is. <laughs> I think you got me on this one. Let's do the math. All right. Norm improved significantly. I think it was 207 the first time. 216 with 2X. And you said you did better. You knew it. I felt, yeah, I definitely felt a lot better. I'm definitely yeah. going to squeeze the gun tighter, but I'm going to try a couple other things with my cheek weld. Yeah, definitely some cheek weld work. Because if you're ever seeing black on the edge, it's like something's not right. Yeah, I'm seeing like half black. <laughs> yeah. So I took the first round. Norm got me this round. Um, definitely eye-opening. I can't oh, yeah. wait to do a lot more of this. Just going to yeah. crush it. Oh, I know, man. I can't. I wish I had more time today to do I know. a bunch more, but i got to get back to the grandkids. Yeah. <laughs> so. And uh, next time... Maybe we'll bring a fan out so it's not oh, so I'm gonna have the generator. I may even bring my portable air conditioner. <laughs> oh, yeah. We should do that. But, yeah, pretty cool, man. Well, let's wrap these up, clean up. Uh, guys, I know that this was a, uh, a pretty niche video of, you know, practicing for shooting paper. Um, but we're going to learn a lot of lessons here. Yeah, and yeah. we hope that we can teach some of the lessons that we learn out here to you guys and uh, help everybody out. Um I know my takeaway from today, only three shots for score, unless I'm just drilling X's, you know, and I'm shooting yeah. fast. Yeah. But, I, yeah, the wind doesn't stay stable for more than three, four, maybe five shots. Yep. So I'm going to try and force myself to take breaks, get down to the ciders. And Norm learned cheek weld, cheek weld, cheek weld. And hold my gun as I normally do. Tight. Yeah, as you normally do. You know, yeah, Keith, don't... Keith's like, oh, my God, you squeeze the gun so hard when I'm, like, shooting. Um, so I just try to do with this bench rest thing to let the gun lay on the bipod. Yeah, but then that screws up your whole, everything Obviously. you've been doing for the last bunch of years. Yeah. So, so screw I'm that. Gonna just, I'm going to change that and learn that. Um, and the big thing is that cheek weld, man. Yep. So. Next time we come at you guys, we're hopefully a little wiser on this. Pull some better scores. Yeah. And uh, I don't think we did too bad for our very first time. No, man. I was... Paper. I, I was candidly just hoping to break 200 so yeah yeah no doubt um yeah I'm, I'm happy and it's nice to actually shoot the real thing oh my god man because i've been shooting you know like i'll print one of these out on an right. 8 by 11 
shoot it a bunch of times. You know, I had five of them. I'd shoot each one five times, which isn't the same as transitioning to a new target exactly. every time. So it was a very different experience. Really cool. So catch you guys later. Yeah, man. Three, two. Done. Done, done. <laughs>